Today we are going to be making a DIY sandcastle bath bomb. and crafts. My name is Ava and for this recipe we made two bowls. One for the dry ingredients and one for the wet ingredients. Let's get started. First things first, one cup of baking soda. I'm using a half cup right now, that's why I'm doing two scoops. Mom, it's an amazing thing. Now we need a half a cup of citric acid. A half a cup of Epsom salt. And the last thing to our dry ingredients is cornstarch. A half a cup. Whoopsies. Now we just stir it all together. Time for our wet ingredients. We need two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Now three-fourths of a tablespoon of water. Now two teaspoons of essential oil. Mine smells like oranges. All right, we're all done with the ingredients. Now comes the tricky part. So we want to mix these very, very slowly. If we mix them too fast, the bath bombs will be crumbly. We want them to be nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. So I'm adding, then stirring, then adding, then stirring very, very slowly. All right, so this is what your finished product might look like. So it's kinda like sand, but when you compress it really tight, it kinda holds its shape. So I separated the bath bomb ingredients into three different bowls. Now I'm just going to add some food coloring. After you mix it, you kind of got to use your hands. It helps the color mix in really good. This one is a little crumbly, so I think I might add just a little bit more coconut oil. Oh yeah, that's good. Here comes my favorite part. We gotta put it into the castle. I'm going to make it a rainbow sand castle. Let's start with the blue. You put it right there in that corner. And you really gotta pack it in there to make sure that there's no like air pockets or something. This is gonna look really cool because there's like lots of layers of different colors. Now we have to let this sit for 10 minutes and then take it out of the mold and then let it sit for 24 hours. Stay. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm done waiting. Let's flip this thing. So I got this circle cardboard thing. I'm just gonna put it like that. Ready? Flip. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one. Whoa! That looks really cool. It's like sedimentary rock. It has like all these different layers. Oh, whoa, and look at this side. Look at that. That really shows the layers right there. This is gonna be so cool to put in the water. We're gonna let this sit for overnight and then tomorrow's gonna be the big day. Lucky for you guys, you don't have to wait that long. All right guys, it's day two and I think we're ready to put this in the water and see what it does. We just set up our little kiddie pool right here and we're gonna put it in. Ooh, the water's kinda cold. Are you guys ready? Oh, I'm so excited. It smells so good. 
we get to see all of these colorful layers disappear. Three, two, one, blast off! Whee! Whoa! <gasps> oh my gosh, it like changes color. Oh my gosh. Look at that! It's so fizzy! Very colorful. It's so cool! Whoa! Can you guys hear that? It feels so weird fizzing in your hands. It's so tiny now! Whoa, it turned my hand rainbow! Oh, it broke! It broke! Oh no! Now I got two bath bombs! It makes my skin super soft. It smells like oranges. <laughs> it, it's like a fountain. This is so cool! I love bath bombs! It's sizzling on my hand. It sounds like Pop Rocks. All right guys, this is all that's left. Thank you guys so much for watching and helping me make this amazing sand castle. Castle, band bomb. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if we should make another bath bomb and what shape it should be. And maybe what colors. We'll see you guys next time, bye! Cannon.